Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Uh, today we are having a great, great day. We are having this amazing fight. You can see how far enemy legions and like whole battlefield is spread out and of course uh, we are going to take the amazing video with the fighting uh, against tier 5 players right because we are actually fighting with the stronger alliance than ourselves now we are fighting against uh, BR which has mainly tier 5 players in their PvP uh, gameplay right of course as a free to play player I will try my best to get as much merits as possible and yeah like story of this fight will be um, how well we are going to perform uh, by defending this bridge and at the end of the day if we are going to be able to uh, push them back right uh, that's the most important part of course in terms of uh, activity we are doing amazing job uh, but of course because of their them being paytoin players and having a lot more resources than us it will be hard uh, for us to keep up with them and uh, at the end of the day whoever has more resources and more troops wins this kind of fights right but until we are having fun and we are having enough resources to fight in this kind of fights, I will try my best to get as much merits as possible, right? Uh, as you can see, the infantry players uh, are going to defend the bridge and we will try to defeat them as fast as possible and then we will have uh, free access uh, against their backline, right? Uh, let's try, let's be, let's use our shadow blades on a multiple target, that's always the uh, idea you want to do. Uh, if your artifact can deal damage to multiple targets, try to do that, right? Uh, often uh, when I'm fighting against tier 5 players, I don't use uh, every single legion, um, every single fighting legion which I have, but this is a special fight, we have been waiting for this fight and also uh, some of our reviewers said that why don't you fight with every single legion in your arsenal uh, of course I whenever I can I can fight with one and one uh, if I want to fight for a long period of time but simply because I gathered a lot of elixirs until this fight um, I can use every single legion in my arsenal so you know, whenever I will have a lot of uh, wounded troops I will use my elixirs right uh, I'm quite surprised how I got targeted here uh, because my legion is quite far but yeah that's whatever let's move forward and let's try to deal damage to the backline right that's always the target um, I already did one video with this fight <coughs> and I try tried to play cautious and in this fight in this um, uh, with there, I will try my best to be as uh, risky as possible to try to hit backline more frequently than frontline, right? Right now, I'm trying to use my my reserve, and yeah, unfortunately, enemy dropped um, the Hydra on our head, and uh, I hope ma the Hydra won't gonna deal damage to ourselves, and they, it won't gonna stand on our face because the miasma damage is quite high, and yeah, unfortunately, our um, the enemy rally just popped up on our syndrome and fragar and we have quite a bit um, like positioning there right i will try my best to move back uh, to keep the ground and yeah then we will try to have good damage towards enemies yeah some of the infantry players might uh, target me but it's uh, impossible for them to catch me there because we have a lot of um, alliance members standing up uh, that's why we are having a free targets. Let's use this moment and let's try to deal as much damage as possible uh, towards them, right? Of course, we are going to have a lower amount of uh, merits um, than we than uh, if we if we would hit uh, the ranged ones. But still, if you want to have uh, winning fights and if you want to have fun, you want to uh, be the conservative in terms of fighting, right? Uh, Right now we are having some risks taken, uh, we are moving forward, we are trying to deal damage to enemy mages and uh, for now I think we are doing pretty fine uh, until we are gonna get targeted and as soon as I will see that enemy is targeting our legions I will move back. I wish I had my um, artifacts which are dealing damage to multiple targets in these fights in this moment because I could throw uh, my artifact here but yeah, I guess soon my resorb will be charged and I will be using my resorb on this backline. Yeah, finally it's happening. 
and uh, yeah let's see uh, yep yep nice 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 as i as i understand my my resorb can deal damage to multiple targets that's what i actually want and yeah uh, you can use so just right now as as soon as i as i see the red thing on my screen that which means i'm getting targeted i'm moving back i think right now i'm more getting targeted from the left side that's why i will move to towards right because i think here we have some free access to backline of the mages yeah like of course okay now i will try my best to use shadow blades yeah i think i used on its religions right that's totally fine let's just move back yeah i guess uh, syndrome and fragar um, was the sacrifice for the hydra because it moved on top of syndrome and fragar for a couple of times and yeah it deals a lot of damage if you are just standing on top of it right it's hard to get a better position whenever you are fighting uh, with so many legions uh, and plus there is Hydra, so that's fine I guess. I'm trying to use uh, Phoenix Eye here in multiple targets, yeah that's what we actually did and right now I think we can move back. Uh, Craig is down unfortunately because Hydra is also still moving on my direction and yeah as i have said uh we will be playing risky against two five players and let's see how playing risky uh will how much merits uh, we will get by playing risky against um better and better players than we are like, like in terms of power um, yeah right now i will try my best to focus mainly on infantry uh, because even though like um uh, enemy is quite close uh, we are getting a lot of targets so let's try to keep a normal one and as soon as we're gonna defeat these two infantry players we will try to move up yeah that's what actually happened let's uh, move up and let's deal damage to mages and let's see um, if we are going to get yellow merits by playing risky right um, i understand uh, it's this is not the way of playing I'm just trying to hit backline no matter what but yeah, sometimes we need to test uh, what's the difference between playing risky and what's the difference by playing uh, cautious, playing on a on a big pedal, right? Dealing damage more to infantry players and whoever is in front of you. So yeah, one video we did by playing like that, and second one, this one will be more of a risky fights, more of a uh, taking aggressive steps. But of course, by taking aggressive steps, uh, you are getting a lot of. Mm, uh, damage towards yourself right i i can't hear the uh, voice of the uh, yeah finally i can hear it yeah nice yeah i'm going to use uh, uh, phoenix eye on one target because um, yeah it's they were pretty far and unfortunately i think this rally and hydra will pop up on my head and it will do a lot of damage i just want to defeat this guy so i will have three paths towards this side but yeah, I guess these Goresh and Skull Ghouls are pretty strong and uh, they are dealing also quite a high damage. I'm interested if meta will change, but uh, in my opinion, I think Goresh and Skull Ghouls still will be uh, one of the strongest and meta infantry hero pair. But yeah, I think uh, the Danfell looks quite strong. Uh, and I think uh, not only for infantry, also for uh, cavalry, right? Let's let's see whenever they will come out, how people are going to use them. And if I will unlock uh, them, I will try to think if I can fit in uh, the Dunfell in my playstyle. Yeah, so far only mages are alive, which was kind of expected because of the range. Uh, even though if we are playing more aggressively, yeah, more range give us more survivability, right? Like so far here, if I had archers, I'm 100% sure I would have get targeted. And I'm not sure why these behemoths love me, because they are just simply running on top of me and they are dealing like airway damage to my legions um i will be more than happy to use phoenix eye one more time um, because it's already like cooldown is already done but uh, it will be pretty hard simply because the behemoth is still here and my world when welling is having uh, uh, problems which is one of the last legions i have left yeah, I'm kind of charging. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, the moment I charged my Wilder and Welling, uh, this happened, right? So yeah, I think I will have a high hospital bill um, with this fight uh, because we try to play uh, risky against tier five players and playing against them um, in a risky manner 
um, won't gonna affect uh, it will affect the merits it will affect hospital it will affect everything i think from the last fight i had almost um, half a billion uh, severely wounded units here we got well, like 200k more uh, but here yeah, fights were uh, like fights ended pretty fast because we were getting targeted more frequently than we we would in other cases right uh, let's check how much merits we got by playing risky uh, still i think um, like for example Nico and Kinara because of being uh, the best legion I have uh, only legendary hero PvP legendary hero I have awakened is Kinara and that's actually affects the fights uh, also I can see that Walder and Relin uh, did, did like if we're gonna take it together uh, kind of yellow merits right but in total whenever you are fighting you know, more cautiously you are more safe you are getting more merits right that's the uh, illustration I wanted to show that you don't have to be aggressive even if you are a tier 5 player especially if you are a 2 play player right you just don't have to be aggressive just stay at your ground you get targeted move back um, uh, whenever nobody is targeting you uh, attack if you are taking counter attack damage that's fine that's actually fine that's the only time you can deal damage so just don't care about counter attack damage right just don't take it too much attention most important thing whenever you are fighting is to not get targeted by enemy legions and that's the only time you are not going to get high amount of merit score in this game right so far we did two videos in this fight first one uh, was playing more defensive and you can see in the first video uh, how much merits we got and here we fight more risky more aggressive and we can see how much merits we got uh, whenever you are playing aggressively against tier 5 players if you are going to say something like um, uh, Bertrand and Tohar uh, is paid to win uh, hero pair. It's not true. You can unlock uh, um, Tohar from Lucky from Wheel of Destiny. You can unlock um, Bertrand from Lucky Spins, and that's simple five one 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 hero pair, right? Uh, Nico is also like five uh, four two two or something like this. Only real good hero which I have here in terms of skills of the uh, heroes is uh, Kinara, right? And you can see it in one video how much uh, merit this hero pair got and you can see it 40k yellow one even being aggressive uh, job done right as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game i wish everybody amazing morning night and day wherever you are we are going to see each other really really soon bye bye and good luck